The toy industry, interestingly, we understand that nearly 80% of Indian toys are China imports and we also have, um, you know, non-branded Chinese toys which account for nearly 90% of India's market. Let's get in more clarity on that data and the road ahead and the India opportunity now with R. Jaiswan, the CEO at Fun School India. Thanks much for taking time out, Mr. Jaiswan. So break down the numbers for us in terms of how much of the toys that come in are imports mainly from China because I understand that India accounts for a meagre 4,000 crores of the $90 billion global toy market. Is that correct? Uh, yeah, in India we, we estimate, we estimate uh, the world uh, toy market to be about uh, $90 billion uh, US dollars and uh, the Indian toy market is just about uh, between 450 million and 500 million, which which translates to a little about 3,500 to uh, crores, between 3,500 and 4,000 crores, and uh, I mean it's roughly about 0.5 percent of the world toy market, which is a very very small number. So uh, I mean uh, expected to grow exponentially uh, over the over the next uh, few years, but. Uh, they have there's been uh, with with uh, COVID-19. I think uh, we, hopefully it's just an aberration, uh, and market will continue to grow o over the next few years. Okay, so now we're seeing, you know, the uh, potential for Atmanirbhar Bharat, the boycott China movement, if you will, that is gathering steam. What kind of an opportunity are you foreseeing for the Indian toy market, for toy manufacturers like yourself? Do you think that we are at a position where India can now start making toys for the world? And or are there many, you know, road bumps or challenges along the way that we need to cross first? See, the capability is certainly not uh, lacking. There are a number of, uh, I mean, world toy majors who are sourcing their their products uh, from us uh, at the moment. The uh, more and more com uh, world uh, toy companies are showing interest in sourcing from us. So we've been able to meet all the quality standards and uh, produce uh, good quality toys. But when it comes to the domestic market, uh, I mean, th there are issues because the Indian toy market is very small, and in the toy industry, uh, to for uh, design and development, th there are uh, there are some handicaps which we face in the Indian market. Uh, for example, the tooling costs are very high; the market is small. So, amortizing the cost of tooling over the small numbers that we have in the Indian toy market inhibits uh, in design and development to an extent. Now, India is an evolving market. There's not much history for toys. We do not have uh, a lot of expertise in design and development in the toy industry in India. All these are evolving, but uh, see, one is uh, the, most of the Ch Chinese companies, uh, they I mean the generic products which they have, they, they supply to the global toy industry. So the volumes are high. They're able to they're able to uh, I mean, have more toys produce more designs uh, when their design and development is uh, ahead of us. But uh, for the Indian toy industry to catch up, uh, I, I think some amount of protection uh, certainly required. Uh, of late, we have seen uh, import duties uh, 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 being jacked up, well, which, which has which has certainly helped. So, well, I mean, I think uh, a, a few uh, initiatives from the government uh, in support of the Indian toy industry will certainly go a long way in the industry de developing right. faster. Sure. Mr. Jaswant, also wanted to understand how is it that you managed to keep a three-year-old uh, or three-decade-plus-old toy company actually relevant even in today's trading set, uh, you know, times? I mean, the Chinese counterparts and the competition from that market aside, uh, you know, it's, it's the age of digital gaming and entertainment. So how is it that you continue to be re relevant and stay afloat? Look, let's let's understand this. I told you the Indian Indian toy market is about four hundred and fifty to five hundred million dollars. The world toy industry is ninety billion dollars, as I said, and so we are just 05 percent of the world toy industry. And by a rough estimation, about twenty five percent of the world's 
children in the age group, 0 to 12 years, who, who are the TG for toys, really, uh, live in India. So we've just uh, scratched the surface. And it's not as if the, because of digital gaming or whatever, it's not as if the toy industry has shrunk worldwide. It stayed at around the 90 billion number for a long, a long time. With some saturation in the more developed markets, but a huge opportunity for markets like India, uh, where there is really no history for toys. The, you know, young parents of today have not really played with branded toys. But uh, that's all changing. We have we've been yes, we have been in, in the in the industry. We have been a major player for the last 30, 33 years. It's uh, during the last. 33 years, that is when, you know, one school and some other companies also started operating in India. And uh, that is when, uh, when the quality branded toys started becoming available to the Indian uh, customer. So we have, we have today, we have seen uh, young, young parents uh, who have played with branded toys coming into the market with a lot of purchasing power. Uh, I mean, and uh, things are looking up. So certainly, we expect uh, exponential growth to happen over the, over the next few years as more and more young parents who've been exposed to branded toys and who understand the need for toys and the development of the child uh, I mean, come into the market. Uh, we, we expect things will get much better. See, the, when you're talking about uh, when the, uh, the digital space and uh, as a result of which uh, I mean, the market for toys could shrink, this cannot happen in all categories of toys. For example, if you look at infant and preschool toys, it has been uh, the physical toy will always be relevant. If the digital gaming, yes, you have some of the games, some of the games are uh, I mean, can be played online, and the, I mean, that could result in using very good growth in the board game industry in India. Now, particularly after after the lockdown, we've seen uh, we've been huge response to board games and puzzles in India. But uh, yes, this is uh, could have been could have grown faster, uh, but for uh, the, the digital gaming uh, when uh, getting bigger, that is possible. But I don't think I don't think it's at the moment when we are so small, the Indian market it's not a major worry, and I think we'll continue right. to be uh, to remain relevant for a long, long time. Uh, because we are nowhere near, near, nowhere near the size right. of the developed market. We're just evolving. Yeah. Sure. Sure. On that positive note, Mr. Jaswant, uh, we'd like to thank you. Thank you so much for taking the time out and joining in today and helping us get a flavor of how India can become Atmanirbhar when it comes to the toy industry in particular.